a Wikividi Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. Acceptance, Novel Acceptance is a 2014 novel by Jeff van der Meer. It is the last in a series of three books called The Southern Reach Trilogy. It was released in the US on September 2, 2014. Plot Summary Acceptance jumps around in time and between the perspectives of several characters from the first two novels in the Southern Reach trilogy. The Lighthouse Keeper in the years before Area X, Saw Levens the Lighthouse Keeper introduced in Annihilation builds a friendship with nine-year-old Gloria, the psychologist from the Twelfth Expedition and the former director of the Southern Reach. While maintaining the lighthouse, Saul is frustrated by the constant visits of Henry and Suzanne, two members of the Seance and Science Brigade who perform unknown experiments involving the lighthouse's lens. One day while cleaning the grounds, Saul sees a mysterious flower of light on the ground, which stabs his finger as he attempts to pluck it. Saul begins to have vivid nightmares. He imagines walking into his lighthouse only to discover it has transformed into the tower. When he wakes up, Saul begins reciting the sermon written by the crawler on the walls of the tower. Gloria leaves to be with her father, and soon after fire breaks out on Failure Island, destroying the S and S. B. S headquarters. Saul becomes increasingly obsessed with the sermon. Finally, Saul returns to the lighthouse at night and sees a glowing light emanating from the trapdoor beside the lens. Saul enters the light. When he awakens, he finds Henry and Suzanne's bodies beside him. Henry's doppelganger, however, arrives and confronts Saul. The two eventually fall off the side of the lighthouse. Saul survives, but as he attempts to run away, visions of Area X flood his mind. Saul eventually stops running, having accepted defeat. Saul's clone one of the first generated by Area X continues to work as the lighthouse keeper. The psychologist slash director the second timeline describes Gloria's initial acceptance into the southern reach as well as her promotion to director. She has a strained relationship with Lowry, the only survivor of the first expedition and the man responsible for organizing each subsequent journey into Area X without alerting anyone at the southern reach. Gloria along with Whitby secretly crosses the border into Area X. She visits her childhood home, encounters the crawler in the tower, and visits the lighthouse. Here, the director finds a backpack containing the cell phone and plant first mentioned in authority. Upon her return, the director refuses to relate her experiences to Lowry. She begins planning the 12th expedition and interviews the biologist for the mission. It is then revealed that the director has terminal cancer. She therefore decides to join the Twelfth Expedition in the hopes of visiting Area X one last time. The director also learns that the S and SB may have been involved in the creation of Area X. When she confronts Larry about this, he refuses to admit it. Finally, the director pulls out the cell phone she found in Area X, arguing that it belonged to Larry and that it was used to communicate with Area X itself. Larry looks at the director in horror. The director's story ends with her embarking on the Twelfth Expedition as the psychologist. In her pocket is a letter written to Saul Evans, which she hopes to give him when they meet again. However, as seen in Annihilation, the director dies before Saul can receive her message, an apology for never returning to the lighthouse as a child, and her promise to always remember him as the keeper of the light. Control and Ghost Bird Control and Ghost Bird enter Area X through a previously unknown portal. They wander in the wilderness before arriving at Failure Island, where they encounter Grace. Grace reveals the reason why Area X grows so quickly, time moves faster beyond the border. In fact, although Control and Ghost Bird have only been gone a few weeks, Grace has been waiting on the island for three years. Grace also shows them the biologist's last will and testament, detailing what happened to her after the events of Annihilation. The biologist arrived at the island in search of her husband, believing that the man who returned from the 11th expedition was a copy of her husband generated by Area X. The biologist instead encounters an owl, who becomes her companion for the next 30 years. Eventually the owl dies, and the brightness that afflicts the biologist swallows her whole. Grace announces that the biologist is returning to the island. Ghost Bird herself a copy of the biologist generated by Area X encounters her original self. Though the biologist has transformed into an enormous creature made of the landscape itself. 
Control, Ghost Bird, and Grace decide that they will return to the tower, where Ghost Bird encounters the Crawler. When she touches it, she sees the birth of Area X, as if it is its own universe. Grace shoots at the Crawler and accidentally hits Ghost Bird. Control, meanwhile, is dying, having been touched by the Crawler. He descends further into the tower, and ultimately jumps into the light awaiting him at the bottom. Grace and Ghost Bird exit the tower and start to leave Area X however. The border has moved so far north that Area X has now swallowed the southern reach. The two continue walking, wondering if they will ever leave Area X and re-enter the world as they know it. Reception On March 15, 2014, BuzzFeed gave an exclusive first look at the cover to Acceptance along with an interview with Jeff van der Meer. Reviews for Acceptance were for the most part favorable. NPR said that the book is at different times the best haunted lighthouse story ever written. A deeply unsettling tale of first contact, a book about death, a book about obsession and loss, a book about the horrifying experience of confronting an intelligence far greater and far stranger than our own, and a book about sea monsters. The Guardian called it a potent conclusion to the trilogy while Kirkus gave the work a starred review. During its opening week, Acceptance was ranked as 6 on the New York Times bestsellers list for paperback trade fiction. The New York Times wrote a full-page review calling the book, Pure Reading Pleasure, and added that, Vandermeer has created an immersive, and wonderfully realized world. Brought to you by Wikivideo Documentaries. Would you like to know more?